Yeah, how have the fundraising efforts been going within the Michigan GOP? Well, it, it has been a bit of a challenge. It hasn't been what we want because we took over from a very corrupt, I mean, to put it frank, the former chair is a board member of the Atlantic Council. So that that's, that is diametrically opposed to the America First agenda. These people are trying to centralize power into some global system. I mean, we have the World Economic Forum, and who's very heavy in Michigan. They have two offices around my state. So um, two offices actually close to my house. So with that being said, you know, the party in the past, the 98 percent of the funds were given to by roughly 20 people. So naturally, mm -hmm. those people don't share an America first vision. And so we're reestablishing credibility. So it hasn't been what we needed to be. What well, people have to remember, it's not just money, because in the past, the party had funds, but they were losing election after election after election. And so what we believe is that you have a winning system. The money comes in as you do your outreach because you sure. have a credible system for people to invest in. So if you look around the state, you know, not around the country, you're noticing a similar pattern where you have these people who came in under the America First movement, who've taken these leadership roles as state chairs, and the people yes. who funded the party in the past have walked away. And so we're in the yes. process of reestablishing credibility with a really robust ground game, and we're really proud of it because what we've done, we've developed a closed system where our delegates and activists can be trained and know how to engage the government. Because just angry people arguing on Twitter is not it. 